Okay guys, uh, this is going to be the video for the shuttle and how to mark the shuttle video. Um, if you've gotten to this point, then you are an honors student and this should be uh, pretty old to you here. Alright, so I've got gauge shuttle right here. I'm going to go ahead and insert that. Okay, so here's the video that I'm looking at now. Um, I want you to notice a couple things. I've got gauge in the middle. I've got a cone over here, uh, like a hur hurdle over here and a hurdle over there. So right now, what I know is that these two hurdles are 10 yards apart. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and before I even start, I'm going to mark that. So I'm going to go middle of the top of the hurdle. We'll see that's about where he touches it to middle of the top of the hurdle there. Uh, and I'm going to go 10 yards for that. I'm just going to put it in YD for yards. So it's 10 yards from hurdle to hurdle. Um, okay, and for my starting point, uh, I'm going to put it right in the middle of his nose because that's where I'm going to track. I'm going to track his head. Um, now I'm going to try and see. Okay, hang on. Let's see. Where's he going to start at? Right about there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my two finger click. Movie options. I think I'm going to go. Let's go every uh, three frames and see how that goes. That should be pretty good. Three frames. Um, okay, now I'm ready to put on points. So make sure you've got your uh, your add point tool chosen. Once he starts moving one way or the other off that center line, there we go. He's moving, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm right on his nose. All right, so obviously he's going to raise up a little bit. That's fine. Um, sorry. Two clicks puts a lot of data points on. That's okay. I mean, this is a final project. The more data points you have, the better, the more accurate. You're probably going to see these dots space out a little bit after this turn. Let's go ahead and roll. Okay. Do your best here in the transition. I know it gets a little bit blurry. That's fine. So I've followed him all the way to the first cone. I'm going to follow him all the way across. Let's see if he can speed up and make my life a little bit easier here. Um, sorry for making you guys watch a long video with a lot of dots. But like I said, you guys are honors and you understand that the more dots we put on here, the better our data is, the better we're going to be able to see trends the less likely that I'm going to have weird little anomalies in the data and stuff like that. Um, let's see. There we go. He's going to go down. He'll touch that other cone. Nice. And... Here's where we'll see really good acceleration. Because now he knows, he, well, maybe. This should be his best acceleration, but he might just coast through. We'll see. We'll also be able to see that in the graph. Okay, um, so we're going to keep marking until he crosses over the yellow line from the beginning. And he's, of course, going to be a butthead and stand straight up and coast. But there we go. Okay, so from start, we go all the way left. We go all the way right. And then we go back through the beginning. All right, let's command R this thing. Uh, nice. That's about what we should see. Um, I only need to see X because this is side to side. The X is all I care about. That makes sense. He goes to the left. He goes to the right. He goes to the left again. That's what that shows. Um, I'm going to add a second graph. I'm going to change that to X velocity. And that's, again, about what I should see. Um, and I'm going to Command R, and we're going to look at these things in the next couple of videos.